going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this lacy cluster ladder scarf. And this is very, very simple lacy scarf to make. All it is is double crochets and clusters, double crochet clusters. And it works up really fast. This scarf, if I can get it at camera, is very, very long and it was made from just one skein of yarn and it's a bit too long but I wanted to see how long I could make it with just one whole skein. And I used, I used this stuff, it's a Elise Balkan Design, Balk, no, Baltic Design, uh, Superlana Kalask. It'll be upside down on the camera, I think, or backwards. But it is, 3.53 ounces, it's 280 meters and 370 yards. But like I said, this is an incredibly long scarf, so whatever yarn you choose to use, you won't probably use the whole skein. This stitch can be done using any size hook and any size yarn, but I used a five millimeter hook or size H hook, and this stuff, which is I think just slightly thinner than worst white yarn, but it uh, registers as worst white yarn. But just by looking at it and feeling it, it's a little thinner. But like I said, you can use any size. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a uh, much thicker yarn, just so that you can follow along with me, seeing the stitches and everything. Okay, to begin, you want to chain 21. And as you can see, with this thicker yarn. You can see how this scarf is much thinner using the thinner yarn. So it's very easy to adjust this scarf by just changing the size of yarn and size hook that you're using. If you want it to be wider, then use a bigger hook and a thicker size yarn. And this is the same with the thinner, smaller yarn, smaller hook. So when you've got your chain of 21, you want to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So count one, two, three, four, and in this fourth chain, you want to do a double crochet. So yarn over and go into that top loop only and do a double crochet. Now you want to double crochet in the next two stitches as well. Again, using only that top loop. So now we have our three double crochets in this chain here that we skipped the beginning, which will count as our fourth double crochet. Now you want to chain three, one, two, and three, and you'll be skipping three. So we're going to count one, two, three, and in this fourth stitch, you wanted to work a double crochet cluster. To do that, you yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, pull up a loop, and we're only going to be going through two of the loops, and then yarn over, go back into that same stitch, pull up a loop, again yarn over and only go through two of the loops, you have three loops on your hook, do it one more time, yarn over, insert your hook in that same stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over and pull through only two loops, leaving four loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through all four loops to complete your double crochet cluster. Then you want to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and skip three. One, two, three. So in this fourth stitch, you're going to do a single crochet. And then you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. Going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and in this fourth stitch, you want to do a double crochet. And then you'll be, you should have three chains left, and you're going to be working a double crochet in each of the last three chains.
and that's what the first row looks like. Okay, the next row, row two, will be the repeat and what you'll be doing for the rest of your scarf, just going back and forth, back and forth. So when you come to the end of your row, what you'll do is chain three, which will count as your very first double crochet, turn, and you want to double crochet in the next three stitches. So that's one, two, and three. And now you want to chain three, one, two, three. And now where you have your single crochet, you'll be doing your cluster. You'll, from now on, you'll always be working a cl double crochet cluster in your single crochet and you'll always be working a single crochet in the top of your cluster and then ending it with your four double crochets. So in your first single crochet, yarn over, go into the stitch, pull up a loop, pull through only two. Then do that two more times. Yarn over, go into the stitch, pull through only two. Last time, yarn over, go into that same stitch, pull up a loop, Yarn over, only pull through two. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops. And then you'll want to chain four. Always between your cluster and your single crochet, you'll be chaining four. One, two, three, four. And then you'll single crochet in the top of your cluster. And you'll see it almost looks like there's two stitches that's on top of your cluster. You'll always be going into this one, the one closest to you. Put your single crochet. Then you'll chain three. And again, you're chaining three here and chaining before you start the cluster and chaining three here before you start the end. You'll only be chaining four here in the middle in between the single crochet and the clusters. So once you got your chain three, you'll be working your double crochets. You need four on this side. So do the first three, and then it'll bring you up to your chain, and you'll find that top loop of your chain, and you'll put your last, cl your last cluster in that one. And then you'll be repeating that row again by just chaining three, turning, again working your double crochets, and then working your cluster in your single crochet, and you'll be doing exactly what we just did last row. And you'll just keep repeating that until your scarf is as long as you want. And for this one, as you can see, it's just the chain, and at the very end of my scarf, you can see it's just the chain. I didn't do any single crochets or anything like that, though if you want to do that, feel free. You can add fringe on the end of it or whatever, however you like. And that's it. That is how you make the Lacy Cluster Ladder Scarf. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please don't forget to like and comment on my video. And please don't forget to share my video, it helps me so much. Thank you so much for watching.